guys, welcome to YouTube channel where we talk all about the GATE exam. We are studying DBMS under the normalization, the decomposition part. So we have understood how to reach from 1NF or 2NF to the third normal form. And in this video, I'm going to show you with an example how you can decompose a relation given in third normal form into a BCNF. That is the higher normal form, which is BCNF. So right here, we have the example. Relation R with A, B, C, D and the given functional dependencies A, B to C, D, C to A and D to B. As I told you in the previous video also, okay, there is no difference in decomposing from any lower normal form to the higher normal form. The only basic concept is whatever functional dependency which is a problem for that higher normal form or which is the violation, which is creating the violation for the higher normal form. Just make a separate relation for that and at the end find out a new relation R which is the joining relation which makes up the join uh, to happen, right? So for that matter, so let's start at, and at first what we are going to do is we, we will check that this relation is in which normal form already. So for that, uh, as we always have to start from finding out the key. So probably you will find this question which will summarize each and everything that we have learned so far in the normalization. That means the concept of key, the concept of various types of dependencies, the concept of normal form, the properties of the decomposition and finally how to do the decomposition. Each and everything will be applied in one question. So for the key, let's do the AB plus from the very first function dependencies determinant part. It gives me A, B, C and D. And A plus gives me what? Nothing except A. B plus gives me what? Nothing except B. So this is yes, this is P. Furthermore, I can easily see from here that A can be replaced by C because A is dependent on C. So let's do that. It becomes, sorry, it becomes C, B plus, which also gives me C, A, B and together it gives me B. C plus gives me only C and A, B plus gives me only B, so this is also key. Okay, I hope you all know it very well and if you just are not very much aware of it, you can just go in the playlist and check for the key respective video. Furthermore, if we see that B can be replaced by D, so one I can do here, okay, so let's replace here B by D, so that makes it AD. A, D plus makes it A, D, B and A gives these two together gives me C. Okay. And again I can replace the value of B here also. So that makes C and D. So that makes up C, D plus which is C, D, A and B. Okay. Alright. So with that understanding I hope you can see that we have four keys and which are A, B, B, C, C, D and A, D. So every attribute is a key attribute. And with that, once we know that these are the keys, these are the key attribute, what do we do next to be checked for the dependencies? So A, B to C, D, key determining the key is not a problem at all. It is absolutely fun. Okay. C to A, key attribute to key attribute, key attribute to key attribute. What these are? These are the violation of B, C, N, F. Right? So here it is, violation of BCNF, violation of BCNF, okay? We don't see any partial dependency, also we don't see any type of transitive dependency and if it is so, then this relation is in third normal form. The relation is in third normal form, so I can just write down here, this is in third normal form, okay? And we have to decompose it into BCNF. For that, nothing. So let's write down the decomposition set D. Okay. So this is my D and how I'm going to make it happen. So for that matter, one by one, take your very first violation. The very first violation is C to A. Make a relation R1 for this. That becomes C A. Simple. The next violation is D to B. The next dependency, which is violating. So make a relation R2 out of it. That becomes D B. The very third is R3, which is your joining relation. So, rather I write the joining relation. 
and that is R3. What is it? What is that? Take the dependents out from here. So A and B are the dependents, so take them out, and remaining will become your joining relation. So that is CD. Okay. So this, this, this. What is your decomposition now? AC, BD, and CD. These are my decomposed relations. All right. So. By one thing we can say that yes it is in BCNF because all the relations are binary in nature. So that makes it BCNF. But the next thing is check for the property. The very first is lossless join. Whether it is lossless join or not. Right here you all have practiced well so let's do that. Let me look at the two relations. I am taking AC and CD because I can see the common attribute C between them. Okay, so I'm taking AC and CD, taking the C plus, C plus gives me what? C plus gives me C and A, which makes up the super key for this relation. Okay, now I can merge both of them, so it becomes A, C, D, and next I'm checking it with B, D, right? So what is the common relation uh, attribute? That is D, the common attribute between them, D, closure. What is D, closure? D gives me D and B, so that also makes up the Jo uh, key for this subrelation. Okay, so with that, yes, it is lossless. Next, we have to check for the dependency preserving. So I can easily see here that C2A is preserved in this, right? It is preserved here. So this is preserved. D2B is preserved here. For whatever dependency you made the relation, definitely it is preserved. Definitely it is preserved. We have to check for this. FD, AB to CD, whether it is preserved or not. Okay, um, but any other method, I really don't find that I can directly check for it. So I would just go by the method. So I will take AB, okay, my determinant part, and I will take its intersection with some relation. So AB has common either with the AC or with the BD. So let's do with AC. So intersection AC gives me only A, take its closure gives me only A okay and its intersection with AC is going to give me only A and its union with AB is going to give me only AB again. We have not uh, reached to any other attribute. Now we can furthermore take the next relation so AB which is common with BD so let's take intersection with BD let's see do we get anything from here and its closure so that is B closure what is B closure that is only B okay its intersection with BD is going to give me nothing but then only B and its union with AB is going to give me nothing but then only AB okay so we started with AB and we have reached only up to AB guys I hope you understand taking this AB now with CD makes no sense why because there is nothing common between this AB and the CD so we are going to get intersection as phi and then the phi closure is phi again and so you are going to result from AB to AB only. We simply state that AB to CD is a functional dependency which is lost. Okay, so this is not a dependency preserving. So if at all, because I don't have space, let me just clear this off here. If I check for the lossless joint property, so yes, it is true. Okay, if I check for the dependency preserving, so no, it is not true because AB to CD is lost. Correct? That is lost. And this is exactly where I want to make a, you know, a statement. And that statement is, every decomposition into third normal form is assured to be lossless join and dependency preserving. If you are doing a proper decomposition, if you are following the rules, if you are not doing any arbit or invalid decomposition, then if a valid decomposition is done, then it is going to be lossless join as well as it, will, it is going to preserve all the dependencies. That is the highest normal form you are reaching is third normal form. But once you do uh, the highest normal form to the BCNF, it ensures the lossless joint property, but it does not ensure the functional dependency preservation. It may be lost, it may not be lost. So sometimes you might see that every dependencies are preserved, but 
most of the time you will see that at least one of the dependency is lost all right so that's a very important statement because this comes up in the questions directly straightforward statements true or false and uh, this is the reason why the third normal form the 3nf is the most desirable normal form and is a normal form the practical implementation is done into the all the uh, applications database applications where the the tables and the relations are stored they are decomposed only up to the third normal form it's okay to have some sort of redundancy but at least they are not losing their constraints their functional dependency constraints all right so i will see you once again in the next example and in the next video till then bye bye